Happy birthday, Aries the Ram. I'm Noelle with followtheplanets.com. Read more about it there. There's a lot that I've written and you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, follow the planets as well. And Aries the Ram, you are the first sign of the Zodiac. Your key words are I am and your most likable trait is courage uh you are ruled by mars the god of war and mars is also the planet of action so aries i my name for you is a fire starter you're a fire sign and you're the first sign of the zodiac so you like to get things started you're not a finisher you are definitely a starter you not good at follow through or follow up you're better getting it going that's why i call you the fire starter you uh there are two things i suggest for you aries it 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 will make your life happier and that is to uh, be your own boss, okay? You like, you're a natural leader. You like to run the show. You like to get things going. You're a, net, you're a natural networker. You like explaining things and talking to people about how things work and these projects and getting them going. So um, be your own boss. And the second thing, uh, uh, both are very important, are work out work out Aries you've got to uh you've got to expend and and release that energy uh that you have that fire energy that you have through physical action uh you, you know you are ruled by Mars here and you need that physical action and it can and you like the competition you like to be in charge uh, so work out, I, I say, it's better for you to work out on your own. So you call the shots, that's you, or, or do a one, one-on-one -on -one kind of competition, tennis or wrestling, fencing, um, swimming, those type of things, you know, where you're in control of it. So work out, Aries. So that's a little bit about you. You can read more on my webpage followplanets.com and so this is going to be about your year ahead okay so this is somewhat your solar return it's a general it's more general to be that specific i've got to look at your chart our charts are like our thumbprint nobody else has it and um this is a little bit more general but these are going to be themes of the year ahead for you dear aries so of course, we're starting with your ruler, Mars. Mars is in Gemini this whole birthday month. And you are going to be very active in communications. And communications mean a lot of things. Um, so go to my webpage. I write about what communication means. Of course, it's speaking and talking and blogging and internet and writing and reading and books and all of those things, but it's a lot more. And, um, go to my webpage, um, on for, and click under your birthday Aries to see, uh, your birth, your birthday month, um, follow the planets.com birthdays about what communication is all about because you're going to be very active in this and you could be doing two things um gemini's run goes in twos so you could be doing two types of medic um, um communication so um it could be you know you're 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 writing you're writing a blog but you're also writing your book you're um, you're, you're doing a lot of speeches at your work and you're also doing a lot of media type stuff. So it can be two, two things going on here and be very active. Now things can get combative with 
communication and arguments and, you know, very, you know, very hard-lined way of talking and debating. And what you, what you really want to do is turn this into something more constructive uh, for everyone. So finding a good partner or group of people that you can communicate with that's constructive and opens your mind and you learn. So part of this is really being active in learning, reading, writing, um, you can also, uh, become a class instructor, like in workouts that would, that would suit you really good, right? Oh, this year for you to, uh, take on a class and really push people in their workout routines to their limits and talking and like really egging them on through your communication. So where you're talking a lot in leading a group because you're really good at, at leading. So those are some good things. Now, if you want to get, you know, use competition, you could do a lot of online word competition type um, of, of activities. And, you know, a spelling bee would be one, but there's a lot of stuff that you could do online that involves just a competition that's friendly and informative and you can learn a lot and so be social and network. So it's a really good time to be networking and getting out there and talking to all kinds of people and just being active in that. And that's what's going to happen all year. You're going to really feel inclined to communicate and get out there and talk about all kinds of topics and and debate and and have these conversations but really keep them you know in today's climate you especially I'm going to say Aries keep them uh, peaceful you know we, we definitely that's the goal is to keep the peace and keep you know keep your debates peaceful I mean there's all it's a wonderful thing that we have here in America where we can talk and discuss openly about things and we may have different viewpoints, but we can debate them and learn. So, so, um, we're, we're not at war and fortunately, um, you know, you being ruled by the God of war, you're more inclined to put that fight in there. You like a good argument, Aries, but you know, know when it's appropriate. Okay. Okay. So that's a little, there's a lot more written on my webpage, follow the planet. So that's a little bit about that. Um, Venus and Mercury are going to be in your sign for the majority of the time. Okay. Now with Venus here, this is about self-love. Okay. Really looking to yourself, and love you know finding self-love and doing things that that beautify your world decorating your home getting a new hairstyle coloring your hair a different color you know getting all made up and finding you know um, new clothes or new shoes and taking baths and getting massages and manicures and pedicures and buying artwork and doing all of those beautiful things okay hanging out with vips is part of it as well so so you really want to you know put yourself in those you know do those things for yourselves for yourself put, put it on you're not a planner but put it do make the time think about those things because you do need it you know everybody needs this and with with uh, Venus here in your sign and you're hosting her, she wants you to really give yourself these things and buy new pretty clothes for yourself because this is really about your sex appeal as well, Aries. So you're going to, a lot of people are going to be noticing you and noticing your style of sex appeal and your attraction and what you're attracted to and you know, you, you could pick up a new relationship if that's what uh, you're looking for. Or if you're in a relationship, you could really revive, you know, your, your image and, um, and create more of a sex appeal. So that's also a really good thing to do with Venus here.
you're hosting and and this will be okay all year you know depending on your chart it will be a theme of the year where you maybe before you never really took baths that often and now you do or you you do regular manicures all year and pedicures all year and you know that kind of thing you're just going to be a little you're going to be more self-aware of your beauty your appearance your sexual appeal and you also could really be decorating your home really nicely as well with flowers and artwork and beautiful items to put all around and then invite all the vips over and you'll be loving it okay so that's the thing to do aries especially during your birthday month as a birthday gift to yourself but all year long <laughs> okay so we've got mercury the planet of communication the messenger god okay so this is very nice for you um aries see here mercury gemini rules mercury you rule mars and you both have each other's planets in each other's you're hosting each other's planets in your house so this is a very very compatible way so so this is really about this communication you're going to be communicating how you want to you're going to really be focusing on how you think there's a lot of things that you should be thinking about with your mind and your intellect and yourself that's what this comes down to here and how you are going to relay these messages to whomever and and it could you know it could be very work related you're you're a workhorse so it could be more work related but it also these are the areas in your life that have to do with your siblings and your neighbors and also you uh you could be this could have to do with a lot of short travel you might find this whole year be a lot about about little traveling to little places around nearby it's not big travel you don't need to get it on an airplane or a train it's local a lot of local travel okay so that's what you could be finding yourself doing this whole year and um this communication you could be doing two okay two types of communication and it's really good for you to be very active in communication this year okay and go to my webpage. i talk a lot about communication uh followtheplanets.com and look on your birthday because communication you know is reading and speaking and texting and blogging and internet and anything web page but it's nonverbal. it has to do with gossip it has to do it can be conning and lying it can have to do with singing it can have to do with an artistic expression how you uh maybe uh photography where where photos capture the communication coming out of it so does artwork as well so it's a lot of things so go there and you're gonna really be communicating and how you want to be communicating and, and how your mind thinks now this is a good time to also question yourself in what are your thought patterns are they healthy are they negative are they positive are they open are you too stringent and closed to your one way you know you really want to be open to that you are do you need to do meditation do you need to journal do you need to open up and discuss things to get things out and and you know with neptune here in your 12th house this this has to do with a letting go and it also has to do with institutions so you could come involved with this year with an institution such as psychology psychology is an institution that'll help you let go and communicate what you want to communicate and the way you want to communicate it without offending others and with a trusted professional that would be a good thing to do 
um, we all need a mental tune-up from time to time, just like our cars, you know. So same thing, and it's good to, it's a healthy thing to do. Okay, now let's see. So Venus and Mercury, and, and this is loving. This is a loving energy, okay. Really take advantage of this loving energy for yourself. And, and you know, I, with Venus there, she's going to soften things up. Okay, things aren't going to be so war, go get them, you know, be active, combative, you know, aggressive and, and arrogant. Like, she's going to soften you up this whole year, Aries, and really, you know, attribute to that sex appeal that you have. Okay, so Saturn, we're going to move for the rest of the year. So Saturn and Jupiter are both in your 11th house in Aquarius. So you could really be finding that your work is going to shift now and over the next two years um, to, to more something more humanitarian, something that involves social awareness, Something that involves groups of people. You could really be involved in groups of people. And also, um, you could be very innovative and inventive. And you, the, the, over these next two years, this could really be something that you invent with a group of people to you know, get things started. That's you, Aries. So this innovation, invention for maybe for a whole society, for groups of people. That would be a very positive thing. And it's very different, okay? Don't expect this to be um, what you've normally done. It's very, this is a year of change. So it could be very different than what you would expect to be doing with a group of people. And it is expansive as well as philosophical. So this is very positive here. This, and you get along great. You're, if this is air, you're fire. These two get along really good. It's very intellectual. It's very forward thinking. And it's very progressive, expansive, and optimistic. Okay? So if you, if you have some opportunities with groups, with something that's very innovative, uh, this year is a great year to move forward with, with that. And Jupiter will be here until December. Okay, so she, he will move into Pisces this summer for a little bit, but back over here. So the, the main theme with your birthday this month as well is this expansion, career, group, energy, innovation, progressive. And this is good for you too. Non-attachment. It's not emotional. It's scientific. It, you know, so it, it this is very good for, for you, Aries. So take advantage of that. And then on top of that, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to Pluto. So Pluto has really um, been breaking down your structures in your career. Okay, and um, and it's rebuilding that. And this past year, 2020, really emphasized uh, what your transformation is in your career. And it will continue to build uh, up. And uh, it is a building phase now. So, um, so with this difference here of, of what's happening in a group setting, this transformation in your career could be very much related to that. So what was kind of pretty much broken down last year, what everybody experienced in their work, career, structure, reputations, social status, what your, how you structure your days, all very much broken down. Now we get to rebuild. Isn't that a beautiful thing? How do you want to rebuild it? It, you are the creator, so remember that. Okay, and then now I'm going to jump to um, Neptune. I touched on Neptune, and then I'll talk about Uranus. So Neptune, Neptune is the planet of illusion. It's about mystery. Isn't that wonderful? And... Um, it's really about self-undoing and 
what uh, so what this is about here and this is a great experience that we all have in our lifetimes the fact that neptune is in pisces neptune rules pisces so therefore um this energy is very very clear and open to us and we need to use it and this is the power of imagination really use your imagination aries this whole year and and be out there get it don't be afraid to use your mind it's an amazing thing you can use your mind to really expand and think in different ways and be open to it, it it's a beautiful thing and this is healing so so here this is the 12th house and you are the first house so so the 12th house is basically an accumulation of all of those things and then you let go isn't that wonderful what do you need to let go what no longer serves you be loving about it be compassionate about it this is about non-judgment and it's about unconditional love this is about creativity and imagination and healing it's very soft and gentle it's it's be gentle with yourself and what it is that you need to release to let go because then a whole new beginning can open up and isn't life beautiful that we are the creators we create our life and being able to let go of what no longer serves us we've done it we've been a we've learned from it and now we can move on and open ourselves up to what this beautiful universe has to offer us in a whole new way Okay, and with this being the year of change, I'm going to segue into Uranus and Saturn. Okay, so these two are squaring each other. You can read my article on my webpage, followtheplanets.com under articles. It is Saturn is squaring Uranus making for this year the year of change so again it's about being open and for you this is about a change in your earned income you're not gonna know that's Uranus Uranus is the plan of, of change surprise shock innovation it's not about attachments it's about moving forward into the future okay and um and also she loves to question authority she is as well as aquarius aquarius is the intellectual rebel and you love that aries so so really really you this is going this this angle here is going to push us into action. Okay, it's a conflicting, it's a conflict, but we need it. We need it to move forward into the future. What has to do with humanitarianism? It's about groups of people, and that's what this year is about even more than this year. But this year I'm talking about for you is about groups of people, innovation, inventing things that are for the future for humanitarianism and really being socially aware of what's going on in these group for groups of people and you're going to get this income okay in a new way you could really be getting a lot of changes in how you earn an income and um also what you want to do with taurus here is think outside of the box as far as your resources your tools um really question your ethics and morals and and how you are prioritizing what you do with your time okay this all could change but it's very good to have a a grounding a solid base of these resources and tools that could be used in a different way to propel us into the future okay aries that's 
your year ahead, okay? We've got we've got these planets at the top of your chart here, which really makes you really want to express yourself and embrace the change, embrace the transformation, especially with your career, expand it, let go, let go, be free, heal, be, be kind. You've got Venus in your, and you know, you're, you're going to be softer this year than normal and intellectualize that communicate this year be active in communicating pick two things and go to my webpage followtheplanets.com and read all about it all right thank you aries have a very happy birthday spring is here and enjoy enjoy yourself do something active and fun